Hey there magic one, welcome to your weekly tarot reading and welcome to my channel. If you are new around here, my name is Bronya and I am an intuitive tarot reader and every week I bring you a weekly reading here on YouTube. I also deliver monthly readings and yearly readings and other themed readings as well. Uh, I also do offer personal readings and healings also. So you will find a link down below where you can head across to my website and see what I do offer if you would like to get a reading for your personal circumstances to let you know that spaces are filling up fast now so if you want to arrange a reading uh, the time really is now for that um, I also teach tarot I have a course called The Initiation, which is my immersive learn tarot journey. And in that you will learn a full foundation in tarot as well as my signature process for reading tarot from the heart that really resonates. So you'll also find the link down below um, if you would like to get immediate access to all of the learning resources there and start learning to guide yourself as well. You can also connect with me beyond YouTube on Instagram and also by joining my Karmic Community mailing list. You'll find links down below. Please do use those links. There are fake accounts out there on Instagram, but if you use the link below, you'll make sure that you end up in the right spot. Well, that's it from me. And for now, as usual, I am just wishing you so much love and magic. Let's head across to your reading now. Capricorn, welcome to your tarot reading for December 5th to the 11th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. Capricorn, I've got the nine card block here with three for your recent past, three focus energy, three future outcome, oracles, a lead tarot energy, and I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you. So Capricorn, you have two of the, the biggest cards of um, change and redirection. Uh, in the tarot with the tower and the wheel of fortune you also have the world at the very end of the reading so this combination is about the end of an era the end of a chapter in your life and the tower really is the universe giving you a helping hand albeit maybe a chaotic helping hand to close out that cycle because I do clearly see that there is a lack of balance a lack of harmony that's our first oracle card okay and when um we have that lack of harmony in our external reality whether it's in our relationships or in our work then that becomes an imbalance within ourselves okay which obviously can can lead to all sorts of um, issues mental emotional physical and spiritual so true harmony is achieved by really being in coherence in the heart, okay, feeling like we're in the right place, feeling like we're at peace, um, having our central nervous system regulated, okay, feeling calm. So I think that in the situation that you've been navigating, it hasn't been those things and the universe is really prompting you Capricorn to take the right action in order to restore that balance. I'll read this one to you and it says, um, let everything that wants to go, go, and everything that wants to come, come. So it feels like there is an action for you to take, Capricorn, that will be the right action in order to rebalance the situation. Now, the Tower is one of the biggest cards of quite sudden and chaotic change. Sometimes we dismantle the tower, but it usually is quite a big ordeal, a big event. So I think we're looking at um, either a, a long-term partnership here. Partnership can be personal or professional. It can be friendship. It can be romantic partnership. It can be that we've partnered with an organization here as well. Now, the tower says that something in the foundation here, Capricorn, you know, isn't right for you anymore. Now, um, you could have outgrown it. Maybe you're a different person from who you were when you chose it. And that is absolutely okay. In fact, we're supposed to evolve. We were supposed to change. So we might look back and go, I can't believe I chose this career, this person, this place, this home, whatever it is, you know, and 
with our relationships, you know, we sometimes grow at different rates, but as long as we're both growing, we're both on the journey, it generally works, but you might be dealing with somebody who isn't, and you might have out-evolved them, and that is absolutely okay. So the tower can be the universe uh, giving you that, that big awakening, or even conspiring an event or circumstance or situation to shake the foundations here to see if it if it stands the test okay now with the tower generally we're asked to let it fall remember everything that wants to go go if we patch it up and we go around for another cycle we generally end back up at the the falling tower now I think um you may have gone around for that cycle already or you will choose to do that but ultimately it feels like we're going to end up at the world which is closing that cycle the wheel of fortune says that you know there there was a very important um karmic or life lesson to learn from this partnership okay but once that's complete the soul contract is complete and when we stay in situations beyond that use by date, that's when it can become a struggle. That's when it can become uh, a really big push. And of course, you know, we do most definitely experience challenges in, in situations that are meant to be as well. But if it becomes a very long, sustained struggle that is really impacting you, you know, physically or mentally, then we know it is time to, to change, right? So the Wheel of Fortune wants to move. It wants to carry you to the next cycle, Capricorn. And I have a feeling that it's almost like a ready or not here I come and that, you know, something's going to go down, you know, anyway, a bit of a showdown here. So it's about knowing when to release, knowing when to let go. So with the Seven of Swords, Six of Pentacles and the Two of Cups in the recent past. Okay, the Seven of Swords can mean other agendas. It can mean when somebody is um, sneaking around or, you know, that they don't have our best interests at, at heart. Now, this person could be, you know, controlling or emotionally unavailable with this combination. I always see in the Six of Pentacles somebody who's just breadcrumbing here. So it might be that they know just how much to give you of themselves, their time, their energy, their love to keep you there. Um, but not enough to really keep you fully satisfied and they might be off, you know, doing other things with their energy. So that is something to be mindful of. They might be um, spending too much for the money, even, you know, gambling, all that sort of thing here with the Seven of Swords. It, it, they could be keeping some kind of secret there or there's energy going in other places here and you pick up on that Capricorn. It doesn't feel good for you, okay? It's not what you signed up for here. So you might have been around in the cycle a few times with this person and I potentially think you might give this one more go, okay? But it feels like the last time, the last chance because you're at the crossroads now, two of swords, but the six of cups is here and the six of cups is somebody who you're making the choice between walking a new path or reconnection, right? And you're really trying to weigh it up. Now, my main advice is that the past is the best indicator of the future. Allow that hindsight to be your foresight and make sure that you don't sort of blindfold yourself and just see what you want to see here. Because um, without the work of true transformation and change on both parties' um, parts, then generally the situation will continue to give, us, give you a similar, a similar outcome. So with the Two of Swords, we use that fact. We use what has happened, but we also use in terms of our decision making what we are feeling, what our intuition is telling us, what our heart is telling us. Do we feel calm with a, you know, a regulated central nervous system around this person? Or is it always something that, you know, that makes our, our spine kind of tingle here? Is there something that doesn't feel quite right? Um, is there always some kind of thoughts of, you know, what are they really up to here? Because if so, you can never be in your peace. You can never be in your harmony. So either you have work to do around trust Capricorn or they have work around integrity to do. So that's the, that's the choice, isn't it? Reconnection with the cups. If you think there is more to, to grow here or the full step onto a new path, the universe is wanting you to step onto the new path here. 
but I feel that you may give this another shot to rebuild, to reconnect, because you are very, very invested, Capricorn, the Eight of Pentacles is a card of somebody who's willing to do the work and willing to invest, but you can only make this grow and flourish if they are also invested for the right reasons. You're going through the final judgment right now, but the very last card is the world. And this is the card that comes after the judgment card. And it's the last major arcana. So this is about ending a big chapter, ending a big cycle that I think has gone around a few times. Okay. The world is acknowledging that the cycle has done, is done. I've learned what I need to from this. I don't need to go back around for another go. And vulnerably... I am stepping through into another chapter, a new era. And that is why the world is known as one of the biggest victory cards, because it takes strength, that takes courage, and it takes a deep connection with your inner truth to acknowledge that in the first place. So I've drawn the Four of Pentacles Capricorn, and we have to be mindful because this can be the fear that comes up when we think about that change and stepping, you know, taking the fool's journey, which is an unknown path. We don't know where it's headed, but we feel guided to do that. The Four of Pentacles comes up because the ego loves the known, loves for us to, to be in that. I mean, comfort zone is part of it, but it's more than known. Two of Wands. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, the Two of Wands is about seeking and expanding beyond this situation, that there is so much potential, Capricorn, for you beyond this situation. Um, very soon, you will have made up your mind, but you will need to pick your timing as to when to act. But I think the universe will give you a helping hand with the tower, like creating a circumstance. But I think it's very important for... Three, three of Pentacles is having a plan in place, um, having somewhere that you can go, a network that you can call on for potentially um, if the tower does really, you know, create a bit of a storm here is what I'm feeling. So the Wheel of Fortune, let's keep in mind, is associated with a positive luck shift and good fortune Capricorn. But of course, we have to go through the tower in order to access that energy. So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope that resonated for those it's meant for. Do keep in mind as a general reading for the collective rather than a uh, tune into your personal circumstances. So for that reason, it may or may not resonate in its entirety. Drop me a comment if you'd like to connect with me over there. And please do hit subscribe to support the channel and keep the readings coming. Wishing you so much love and magic with the situation, Capricorn. Do take care. Bye for now.